Hello there. On Sunday, Olympic Torch reached its most northerly point and its tour around the UK. Shetland was its destination. However, on Monday we cover the biggest distance in one day. We start the day in Stornoway under rather cool, cloudy and breezy conditions. Thankfully, the torch will not be heading by boat across the Minch. We've got the plane flight through to Inverness, where it'll still be rather cloudy and rather cool. And that really sums up the day for many on day 24. We head southwards from Inverness through Carbridge towards Aviemore and then eastwards through the Grampians. Now, that cloud could thicken up every now and again to produce a little bit of drizzle. But there will be a bit of brightness here and there and maybe a few glimmers of evening sunshine by the time we get to Aberdeen. But a predominantly cloudy day in store, a predominantly cool day as well with temperatures peaking at around 12 or 13 at the very very best and today 25 on tuesday we leave aberdeen hopefully in a little bit more sunshine than we arrive and then push away southwards through southern aberdeenshire towards angus and forfa now with the wind in an orderly direction i'm optimistic there will be a few more cloud breaks still plenty of cloud through the day hopefully sheltered from the showers that will be developing across northern parts of scotland and it should be dry too as we reach dundee the wind's going easterly by this stage and uh, i think whilst it should be dry it will still be a little on the cool side by wednesday there will be one or two breaks possible but it's still that rather cloudy picture for many as we start the day in St Andrews, head away towards Dunblane, Falkirk, Dunfermline and then southwards to Edinburgh. Temperatures still struggling for the most part to get a good deal above 11 or 12 Celsius but at least on day 26 the winds will be that little bit lighter. Will the sunshine return though as we head through the rest of southern Scotland? Keep up to date with the latest forecast here on the BBC Weather website.